I'll be honest, it's not all that often that I'm speechless about something, that I'm that shocked about something, that I don't quite know what to say. But earlier today, when the news broke about Alec Baldwin and the movie Rust and the newest update that we have, I did not know how to react because I, quite frankly, never expected this outcome. After Alec Baldwin shot and killed the cinematographer Helena Hutchins on the set of Rust last year, nearly a year ago, there are a lot of different possibilities. There are still criminal charges pending from the New Mexico District Attorney. Within the next couple weeks, we will probably know who is getting charged and with what, including someone like Alec Baldwin. But the news that got put out today, after all these civil lawsuits were filed, including from Matthew Hutchins, the widower of Helena Hutchins, her husband, well, not only is Rust going to continue moving forward, they're still going to make this movie. But Matthew Hutchins has settled his lawsuit and will now be an executive producer on this movie while the criminal investigation is still pending. Rust Movie Productions reaches settlement with Helena Hutchins' estate, filming to resume in January, Matthew Hutchins to executive produce. You know, he seemed pretty upset when he filed that lawsuit, claiming that all these people were irresponsible, claiming that the, the gun safety and that Alec Baldwin specifically, all these problems that were happening on set, it was just those things that led to the death of Helena Hutchins. Now all of a sudden he's coming out and saying, hey, everything's good. It was a tragic accident. By the way, I'm going to be the executive producer on this. What the fuck, man? Let's, uh, let's get through this here. Exclusive updated with Alec Baldwin's statement. Rust Movie Productions LLC and its Rust star and producer Alec Baldwin have reached a settlement with the estate of slain cinematographer Helena Hutchins. As part of the piece, her husband Matthew Hutchins will executive produce Rust, which will return to production in January with the original cast. The Hutchins family filed a wrongful death lawsuit February 15th over the shooting of Hutchins that occurred on the set of the Western. When Baldwin discharged a prop gun, I wish people would stop calling it that. It was used as a prop. It was a real gun loaded with real ammunition. Like, it's not like it was impossible to imagine that this gun could fire anything. That is not the case. We've gone through this multiple times. Here is a statement. We've all reached a settlement subject to court approval for our wrongful death case against the producers of Rust, including Alec Baldwin and Rust Movie Productions. As part of that settlement, our case will be dismissed, Matthew Hutchins said. The filming of Rust, which I now executive produce will resume with all of the original principal players on board in January of 23, Hutchins added, of the most confidential agreement. I have no interest in engaging in recriminations or attribution of blame to the producers or Mr. Baldwin. All of us believe Helena's death was a terrible accident. I am grateful to the producers and entertainment community have come together to pay tribute to Helena's final work. Hey, it's weird that you think so differently now a year later after they've offered you a lot of money and a job executive producer, so getting a piece of rust. Now, I'm not going to pretend to understand what this guy's going through or say, oh, this is what he's feeling, whatever. This is just like a stunning revelation to me that you would go from filing a lawsuit against all these people claiming that they are part of the reason. They are part of the reason that everyone was so negligent and that this happened. And I don't think there's very many people suggesting that Alec Baldwin meant to do this. The question is how negligent was everybody with the safety precautions? What role did everybody play in allowing this type of accident to happen? And you go from, you know, eight months ago, whatever that was back in February, you know, all in on this lawsuit to now, I'm not looking to place blame on anyone, but also I'm going to take a bunch of money from them and I'm going to pr executive produce the movie that my wife died at. Holy shit, dude. Russ Movie Productions, through its attorney, Melina Sped Spadone of Pillsbury Winthrop Shaw Pittman, said today, we're pleased the parties came together to resolve this matter, which, subject to court approval, marks an important step forward in celebrating Helena's life and honoring her work. Uh, now, we did have Alec Baldwin put out a statement. He took a screenshot of this very article that we're reading. We're pleased to announce today the settlement of the civil case filed on behalf of the family of uh, cinematographer Helena Hutchins. Throughout this difficult process, everyone has maintained the specific desire to do what's best for Helena's son. We're grateful to everyone who contributed to the resolution of this tragic and painful situation. So, hey, we're gonna put a we're gonna put some money together. We're gonna make sure that Helena's son's taken care of, and you're gonna drop this lawsuit. That sounds like what is going on here. And honestly, Alec Baldwin is such a scumbag. Again, I will reiterate. He, he did not intend to do this. I don't think very many people think he intended to for this to happen. But for him to then play victim, to lie about what happened, to go on national television and lie to everybody and cry and pretend that he is the victim in this entire thing, what an absolute load of bullshit. And I, I, I thought there was a chance that maybe this movie continued to get made or whatever. 
I did not think that not only would the original cast and crew come together for this, but that the husband of the woman that Alec Baldwin shot and killed would be executive producing while dropping all the lawsuits. Yet to be determined what will happen in this criminal investigation. That is still ongoing, but this is crazy news. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.